So what we have here is a um, custom Smith-made uh, Mercedes camper van. Uh, it's a four by four and it's the 170 wheel length, wheelbase length. Um, and we can just take a look around and see what we got. So um, first off we have aftermarket tires and shocks. Um, the whole vehicle is lifted for extra clearance. Um, we have a wrap on the vehicle that actually protects the paint if you were to take it off or change the wrap. Um, at the top we have an awning, an automated awning, and uh, it's controlled by remote control. Uh, and two external lights on the side of the vehicle. And when we come to the rear of the vehicle, you'll see we have two additional uh, lights on the rear for great lighting um, when you have to do anything in the back at nighttime. The spare tire is mounted on the outside of the vehicle. Um, we have a hitch on the vehicle, which is great for towing, whatever you need, um, or adding a bike rack, which we do all the time. So checking out the rear of the vehicle, um, It's equipped with um, three drawers right here, and it's got great storage. You can kind of pull out these drawers and they keep on going. They're probably five and a half feet long. Got three of those. Um, got really nice storage for all sorts of things. This was really designed for skis. You can slide in skis quite a ways keeps on going back there way further than you'd think and right below it um, ski boots or whatever sort of utility things you need see we have a hose and uh, shore power things like that um, right here we got our shower uh, so it's just tied to the hot water as well so you pull this out take a shower out here and this is where you have your hot and cold water and how much pressure you're looking for so cool feature um, and in here um, you can take a look. So let's put this shower away um, this is kind of all your plumbing and the water is um, so you've got a 20 gallon water tank back here and two water filters uh, one's a UV water filter and the other one is just a regular filter so we absolutely drink that water. It's always just perfectly clean and no problem. So great for long trips. Um, we can drink that water. Um, as part of the uh, vehicle, we actually had some custom made covers. So they're made by Strawfoot. Really cool. They cover all of the vi windows in the vehicle. The ladder adds access to the top of the vehicle. There's a, a powder coated rack up there and two solar panels uh, which really help for the power of, of the uh, house battery bank um, that's one of the sources of power the other is um, the shore power which you access right here and this is actually where you access your water filling for for the vehicle on the inside so entering the vehicle we have um, a step that's automatic. As soon as you open the door, the step comes out. Um, if you close the door and the step doesn't go in, so if the door is only partially closed, there's an alarm that notifies you that the step is still out and you gotta close the door all the way. Um, a really cool feature on the vehicle, um, you have hardwood floors, which really just add a lot of beauty to the vehicle. Um, a cool cubby that's more useful than you'd think for your shoes as you enter the vehicle. You come on in and take a look at the ceiling. So this is a um, custom handmade job. So real art on the vehicle. Um, really holds well. It's lined with LED lights throughout the vehicle. And um, you have a double bed sleeping area. And that is absolutely big enough for two people or two people and a child. Um, which we have done plenty of.
So here you have access to your power station. Um, so this is where you power all of your utilities from. So you have your light switch, audio, water, stove, awning, fan, refrigerator, forced air. Um, you know, a couple of things to highlight. Um, we have a great audio system in here. This whole vehicle is lined with speakers. It's got a subwoofer in here so you can have music in the back. Um, the lights are all on a dimmer. Um, so you just kind of keep your finger on and dim your lights and really have a great atmosphere. The vehicle is really well insulated. Um, so when you close the doors, it's nice and quiet. Um, you know, turn on some dimming lights and some music and you got a great atmosphere in here. So the galley is, um, features your water and that is hot and cold water. So this is powered by a Wabasto, um, uh, hot water heater. Um, you have a shot, uh, stove and this is tied into the diesel tank. So you do not need any propane. Um, it's all just tied right into it. Uh, a really nice size fridge, um, can fit food for three or four days without a problem and a freezer. Same thing, plenty of space. Um, you've got plenty of storage um, in all these drawers. Um, so it's really built for, you know, long trips, extended trips. You got all your storage up here. We keep some bowls and food and things like that, um, depending on the trip that we go on. Um, so plenty of space in the galley and really nice layout that you have. So when you're kind of working in the galley, you can just move right over here and open up your kitchen table. So this serves as an extra work area, a kitchen table um, while you're cooking, really well laid out. So you can kind of move things back and forth. Um, the artwork on the table, California bear, again, just really inlaid, beautiful art, um, adds just to the, to the feel and the comfort of the vehicle. So here in the cockpit area, um, really nice, easy access into the front. And you also have a swivel seat here. And you kind of push this guy around and got a nice area to hang out. This goes in right behind. And 